Hi Leo and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here in the show more section. Otherwise guys this reading here is intended for Leo, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross watching. Well, there's going to be um, an overflow of emotions here, Leo. Interesting. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have justice here. I feel like there's a certain situation here, a romantic situation or a certain connecting energy and this person feels like they're your karma. It feels like maybe your whatever it is that's going through, whatever it is that's going on with this person and whatever you know is happening between you and them is karmic justice. You're kind of, it's a way for you to clear or pay back some of your karmic debts. That's what it feels like. Now, to me, the Ace of Cups is some sort of message or communication which is going to elicit a very strong emotional reaction in you or in this person something you might say might bring someone to tears something someone might say and communicate with you can put you in a very strong emotional state it may reduce you to tears it may you it may have you feeling very overwhelmed very sad um just you know there's a lot of emotions going on i feel like this is someone who typically is cool calm and posed um, someone who's very collected, someone who typically I feel like is, you know, they have their emotions under control. So when they react in this way, um, it's really going to feel overwhelming. It will really feel out of character for you. So if someone here is pushing your emotional buttons, you're pushing their emotional buttons. Something someone says, or perhaps something some something you say here, Leo, is going to evoke such a strong emotional response. Wow. It feels very big though. It feels like they may be dropping a bomb here, um, a secret confession of some sort, um, some sort of news here. Could have something to do with them, could have something to do with you and this connection here. Now the Five of Pentacles, I feel like there is someone who may be emotionally distancing themselves away from you. Or you'll find out that this person is keeping you in the dark about something. So they may have been keeping secrets from you. They may have been very distant towards you. They may have been acting very cold and emitting a cold energy. This is someone who may pull away or who has pulled away very quickly, very abruptly. Maybe even someone who's ghosted you. Um, it feels like something about this situation can be worked on, but it feels like the both of you need to be able to work through the situation. So if you feel like this is the end, not really, because if you wanted to come back together and if you wanted to really work through it, you can. Okay, but it obviously can't just be you wanting to, you know, salvage or repair the situation. It has to be them as well. It has to be a shared effort, a shared um, energy here, right? Now, the Four of Swords, I feel like someone here needs to pull away or will be pulling away purely because they need that space, especially that mental space to think about a situation or to think about what was said or what's really going on with someone here. And I feel like, you know, you as an individual or they will truly benefit from that space and that distance here because the Four of Swords is a wounded soldier who lays at rest here. Um, and this is a card of withdrawal it's a card of taking some time out to recuperate here okay it is a feeling of stress and anxiety uh, feeling very overwhelmed or even overloaded with something here but it feels like maybe this thing is not as bad as it seems or not as bad as you're making it out to be purely because sometimes you know um 
sometimes we believe things to be worse than they actually are here so it's more to do with your mental state because by sort of contemplating your situation in a very calm way you'll be able to see the logic or how to resolve this okay so if you panic here um, or if you respond with this fear and anxiety it's definitely going to worsen the situation I feel like either you are disconnecting from a relationship or from a connection here or your person will be and I feel like this person is seeking some time out or some solitude but it feels like it's in a response to something being said or done here that's what it feels like and it feels like someone is really hurt someone is really taken aback someone is very confused and they want some time to think about what's gone down here so indica it indicates some you know, someone needing some introspection, someone needing some clarity here in order to help you when you both want to reconnect here. The Nine of Pentacles, this is you needing to do, you know, to put in some work here, you needing to prioritize yourself here um, and your happiness and what's best for you here. Now, be careful with the Knight of Swords energy because it is an energy that tells us uh, that there, you know, that there may be room for communic uh, miscommunication or misunderstandings here. It is uh, an energy that is very charged. So I feel like someone here I feel like it signifies someone who is a little bit too ambitious or someone who's a little feeling a little bit aggressive or frustrated here and is being a little bit impatient or impulsive so if you're not ready to come back and to reconnect with this person or if you're not ready to talk it's best that you don't act okay or you know this person be careful because if you sense that whoever the, like with your person's energy if you sense that they are initiating conversation communication here but you can pick it up in their energy in their vibe that you know they're just not in a good place that they're you know they're just a little bit off or they're a little bit aggressive here it's probably best that you don't have a conversation and you don't try to reconnect in this energy in this state because it's only going to be, uh, backfire here um the knight of swords has a very direct nature which can make him seem a little bit insensitive which is why i feel like you know if you do decide to reconnect or even to have a conversation and really open yourself up to this person when they're in that energy here you could be on the like you could really um be hurt by this Knight of Swords insensitivity energy. The Knight of Swords could also indicate that someone here is thinking about leaving or departing this connection very abruptly. So it, they may have ghosted you or they may be thinking about ghosting you. Um, but it could also be a card that tells us that in order for you to stay together with someone you have to keep fighting for each other you have to keep fighting for this connection here you know keep fighting to try and make this work could also indicate that there may be a change that's sweeping in for you that and this change is something that you've been waiting for but you're going to have to jump in both feet in order to really you know experience um, maybe more of a deeper connection or a deeper commitment with this individual okay it's something you have been waiting for but you're gonna have to jump in here all the way all right guys so these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing subscribing i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned bye for now